Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now, where I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink the stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious crap that I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna give a shot and I'm gonna just yammer on inside the truck. That's right, folks, I'm inside the truck and putting the little thing down to fend off the sun. I don't like the sun, you know it. Uh, yeah, if I'm in the truck, then typically that means that I was on my way to a place and I found some stuff to review, and that's the case today. In fact, rather happy that I made my little trek today, I was making my way after work, hence Super Grody work shirt. Decided to go over there and get some supplies from a local supermarket. Yeah. So what am I yang about, folks? Well, boom! It's Snapple! It's Elements! It's Air! <laughs> I found it. Um, so for those of you who don't know why I'm so excited, uh, a little while ago, maybe about a month ago now or something like that, I went over there, I did a review of two other Snapple Elements flavors, specifically uh, Fire and Water. And is it Fire and Water? No, Fire and Rain. Fire and Rain. There we go. Rain is made of water. But, uh, though it does, I suppose it doesn't have to be entirely. But anyway, um, at the time, I knew that this one had come out, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And up until today, that was the case. But I just found it super duper happy. For people who aren't aware of why the Elements thing is such a thing, this was a drink that came out probably in like the late 90s, I want to say. And it... It had various forms. First it came in glass bottles, then it came like they cut a bunch of the flavors, then it came like in metal cans. It had a run, and like sometime in like the early 2000s, the Snapple nixed it. But for whatever reason, I've heard nothing to the effect of like this being a thing, but they went over there and they, they brought it back. Three flavors, specifically. So fire, uh, rain, and air. So... I'm super jonesing about this, man. This is, whenever, whenever I would see one of those like collages online, you know, social media and stuff, where it's like, oh, you know, items that we miss from our childhood, you know, and they got, you know, taco Doritos and, uh, you know, PB crisps and all that stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, there, there's other things I miss, but Elements was always like pretty much the top of my list. Like, I love this stuff. And since I've done the review of the, uh, the rain and the fire, I have absolutely kept drinking those. I like those a lot. So go watch that video if you want my full take on it. But we've got the air. This, I believe, was actually the very first flavor that I had when I first tried Elements. I got it from a gas station that, like, 15 years later, I would end up working at. And, uh, yeah, and so I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, folks. It's prickly pear uh, and peach white tea. That's the, the flavor combination. And it's 45% less sugar and artificial flavors, sweeteners, all that good stuff. So I'm going to try it. You're going to watch the video or not. You might have turned off already, but let's give it a shot. Oh, please be as good as I remember. And if I'm not mistaken, originally when it came out, uh, it was called Diet Air. And I remember looking for air. Like, just, just plain air, because I figured, okay, there's diet air. Clearly, there has to be air. And I, I don't think that I'm... I think it was just a joke, like, ha, huh, it's diet air. But I never I never found classic air, I guess, until right now, so... Plus, it's got a little snap thing. The, fam <laughs> the familiar, sen uh, familiar smell of rain is called uh, petrichor. I'm going to say that's how you pronounce that. I... I I did a little ah, about it because I literally, before doing this, I was drinking uh, a fire version of this and uh, it had the exact same thing. So it smells peachy and tea, but mostly peachy. Let's give it a shot, folks. Oh, that tastes like childhood right there, folks. That's that's a good time. You know how, like, people go over there, and they like to shit on your good time, right? 
you're over there, ah, you're just, things weren't that great back in the day, you're just rose-colored glasses, blah, blah, blah. Now, to be fair, in a lot of instances, they're right. A lot of times, back in the day stuff, not nearly as good as you think about it. Especially when you're talking about, like, social issues and stuff. Everybody's like, ah, the society was so much better. It wasn't. It was, it was always worse. Always. Always worse. Ah, oh, but we had, no, 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 no. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was better for you. But, but as an overall, probably not the case. Um, but, man, there are some things that absolutely stand the test of time. I will forever defend, aside from doing this, I'm a big fan of retro video game stuff. When people go over there and they decide they're going to go over there and shit on, you know, the older video game stuff. Bah, the PlayStation, the loading time. Bah. It's like, dude, I have a PlayStation. I have multiple PlayStations, in fact. But I still have my original PlayStation that I had as a kid. I went over there about maybe like eight years ago or something. I had to switch out the laser because years of use had finally worn it down. I popped in a brand new laser because you can get the damn things online. That thing ran like it was brand fucking new, okay? And the loading times are about the same as they are on my PS4. This is that, folks. This is one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, there's there's part of my brain that's like, oh, man, I like the fire, I like the, uh, the rain, you know. The air is kind of special because it was the first one I had. You know, ah, I hope it's good. And, and it is. And it does... It does taste, you know, it does taste like I remember, like, because I remember specifically the prickly pear, like, that was such, like, an exotic flavor, because, like, that was part of the whole Elements brand was, like, you know, it wasn't just juice, they were using these weird exotic things, you know, and it's like, oh. To describe the flavor, though, there is sort of a hint of tea but very, very light. The other flavors, the prickly pear and the peach, are definitely the most prominent, which for me is nice. I like tea to a certain extent. I will drink tea, especially peach tea, but I don't want to be super tea-y tasting. It's not, I'm not, you know, that big of a tea guy. This, you're definitely, it's more, more of a juice than like a tea, really. Um, But there is an underlying tea element to it. Now, in terms of the other flavors, that's a really nice thing about it. Because I like that they used, uh, you know, white tea. White tea is kind of a, in my experience, I'm like, I'm not a tea guy. Kind of a lighter tea. So I think it allows the other stuff to really do what it does really well. And then on top of that, it has still like this very kind of light and refreshing kind of taste to it. The, the peach aspect works really well with the prickly pear because it could just be peach tea, basically. But that's not the point of this. It's supposed to be something different. And so what you get is you get sort of... It's not just a peach tea with like a little, you know, added something. It is a blend of the two flavors. So you do get a strength of flavor that comes from the peach for sure, but kind of all throughout it, I wouldn't even say like it goes like in layers or anything like that. All throughout it, you do get this other element, which is, you know, I guess the prickly pear aspect of it. I'm not a super expert on prickly pear stuff, but that would be my what I would surmise. But it's really good. It's light tasting. Like I said, it's refreshing. It's sweet, but not overly so, at least not for me. This is the type of drink where, and I, and I made this comment with the other review that I did. This is the type of drink I would love to have in my fridge because, like, if for one thing, I try to drink less soda. Um... You know, that, that's been my drink of choice since I was a little kid. But I, I try to dial back on it. So I try to have other options available to me that are going to fill a similar itch. And while this, it's definitely not going to fill the same itch as soda, it's something that I can go over there and grab and not feel, like, disappointed in. 
like, for a while I was trying to do tea as, like, my main thing. Like, and I was doing, like, unsweetened tea and stuff. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll get used to it. I really didn't. It just was never very good tasting to me. This is something where it's like, no, if this were in my fridge next to, you know, an RC Cola, I like RC Cola, uh, or Dr. Pepper or something like that, it would have an even chance for me of being chosen. That's how good this is. And on top of that, because it is light, because it is refreshing, it's something where like, you know, if I woke up in the middle of the night, I, mean, I work at night typically, but if I woke up <laughs> at some point, this would be great to grab and just you know, toss down, not feel gassy, not, you know, feel heavy, you know, feel weighed down by like something carbonated. I really like this. This for me, I, I'm extremely happy that they brought elements back. I don't know how long it's going to last. I hope it lasts forever. I hope it lasts long enough that they decide to go over there and put them in the big glass, uh, bottles that they used to come in and they bring back all of the different, uh, uh, all the different flavors. I would love that. Because this, for me, Snapple, you done did right. I like a lot of your things. Snapple, Apple, come on now. That's a good time. But this, this is pretty much my favorite product you've ever put out. Now, if you want, you want to keep on the nostalgia thing. If I'm not mistaken, I think y'all used to have some clear root beer. I don't know if I ever had it. But I'd be interested in trying it. Just saying. But anyway... Definitely gets my recommendation. It's, if you want something that's fruity and light and not overly sweet, it's got a nice refreshing taste to it, this is it. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. If you can go over there and have yourselves a truly elemental rest of your life. Bum, bum, bum. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay, it's not always possible. All right? Like, I, I you know, it's something I bring up all the time. That's why I put try at the beginning of it. Because at the end of the day, folks, you're going to have those moments. You're going to have those days. Me, I'm having a good day. I got the day off. I found some cool stuff to review. I got some groceries. I'm doing good. But, though, that's not every day. Some days you have those days where you're just going to be an asshole. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. It's better for you. It's better for the people around you. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to talk to the Snapple people. You're going to be like, Snapple people. I'm just a random guy, but I watched this other random guy on the internet, and he was over there. He had a shirt on, so you know he's serious. And he was talking about your Snapple elements and the things. And based off just the fact that he's on the internet, I know that he's important. And so clearly you should go over there and bring back all the other flavors to appease this guy on the internet. Because folks, what is the internet for if not instant appeasement? That's all I'm saying. Or conversely, you could go over there and do something way more productive with your life. Like, uh, go over there, you know what, if you have a pet, go over there and spend the whole day with your pet, folks. If you don't have a pet... Go out and get a pet. If you don't have a pet and you can't get a pet or you don't want a pet, well then, you know, uh, go play Frisbee. Bye.